Hmm. Ah! I'm like, is this... Is it working? It did not appear to be working. Okay. Reginald, please be a good boy. Please be a good boy. Love you so much. Test. All right, we have sound and we have picture. Hello, everyone. My name is Ali. I'm from Okay to Be Fat because it is okay to be fat. Welcome to your Yakuza stream. We stream all of the Yakuza games. This is and some ancillary material on occasion. This is Yakuza Five. Um, let's see. Thank you to the following people. Oh, I got bits. I got bits at the end of the last stream. Thank you to Gilda Zed and Hawk for the bits. Um, which I guess I didn't see as I was zooming out. Um, Ally Pink, Johnny Cakes, and Diamond Mine K. Thank y'all for the follows. Appreciate it so much. And, uh, here we are. It's Yakuza 5. We're doing a thing, and it's Yakuza 5. Yakuza 5 is what we are doing. I know that that's what's happening right now. Foxy, how are you doing, Miss Lady? Who's ready to raise a chicken? Oh, we have nothing. Well. <clears throat> Sorry, my guy. But it's time to race a chicken. You've got to race your chickens. I will go. Uh, there. Show, show it to me. And, and away we go. Zip zoom, buddy. We're going. We're zip zooming around. We're having a time. Doing a thing and enjoying ourselves. Ah, that's the wrong way. This is the right way. What you doing, Reggie, bud? All right, here we are in a land of wonderment called the Immod. Hello, I would like some of your finest vitamin drinks. Thank you. I will take it. It's a prize ticket. Hurrah! Huzzah! We leave the M store. Good job. Yeah. It, 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 free me from your sidewalk restrictions. Uh, no, fuck off. I have chickens. They need to race. Yes. Very well indeed. And we go. <sighs> right. Oh. Uh. Can I go in here? Yeah. Oh. Daruma, I could tell tattoo you about this place. Maybe I could, maybe I will. Oh man. You just say it. Uh, I, I've had nothing. I would like to eat this, I guess. Delicious. Love the flavor. Arigato, man. Thank you. Ooh, more prize tickets. I've got five now. Five prize tickets. Prize tickets. Number of five. Now, an important mission. The chicken mission. We've gone to get chickens. It is time. Time for chicken time. It's a chicken mission. Hello. What can I do for you, fella? Uh, let me view the parameters. Give me gyro. 
Gilded Zed, thank you for the bits! Here we are together. It's the good shit. Well, I certainly hope so. Let's. Kiana Krypton, hello! How are you doing, sweetie? I hope well. Um. So, uh. Announcing announcements stream will go dark August 26th. We'll come back in September. When we come back, same schedule, different time zone, switching to central time. Um, because I'm switching to central time in the move. And so we just want to keep things as continuous for me. Forcing, hey! It's crime time! Um, we may have, um, in the, like, uh, I don't know, week and a half until that point, um, some intermittent, that's the word I want, the, the stream may be off intermittently because, um, people need to come in here and look at this house, and I need to let them, which means I need to leave, so, um, if, if they, if they call us up and are like, can you get the fuck out of that house so somebody can look at it? Uh, the answer has to be yes. So if that happens during a stream time, we may have to do that. Um, they actually want to do it tonight, but it's going to be after the normal time. So I was like, yeah, sure. <laughs> so, I got uh, a question. What am I switching to central time from oh yeah it's eastern like Forstein said so I'm going from central to eastern so for, for me it will be one going back an hour and then it, that's it and I'll never do it again I guess bury me in Illinois uh, <laughs> yes so we're going from eastern to central um, I'm, I'm sorry I can't do a better job with being helpful on that in your personal time zone because I suck at understanding time zones. Um, but I hope that doesn't mess it up for anybody. Um, oh, shit. Alright, hang on one second. You got it? Okay. Thanks, babe. I don't know why you're coming over all blinky now, Mr. Man, when you've been a, a jumpy, swatty boy. Um, yeah, so for me right now, it's 5 o'clock. So, it will be from this time starting at 4 o'clock, I think. Um, is that right? Yes. Um, thank you for solving the cat situation. Yes, okay. Oop. Let's work on Gyro one more time. And see if he can get better. Go, go, Gyro. Go, go, Zeppeli. Um, let's try this one. We're gonna get his dirt up. Uh, will you take a Toriana? Two and ten. Hmm. Alright, let's try to run Gyro one more time and see how he does J go go gyro go go gyro go is he a contender I don't know phoenix cup let's try it you can do it gyro you can do it I might have to breed gyro 5 and get gyro 6 I don't know I feel like that there's more left to go. And Gyro's kind of tapped out, you know? Gyro! Clucking around! Hito! 
God Beak. Three, two, one. Zip zoom, bitch. There they go. Chiro, don't just stand there. Come on, man. That's not right. I don't want to holler at him. I just feel like if you have to holler at them, they're not going to do well. Yeah. Oh, poor Gyro 5. Normal Gyro. You gave it your all, buddy. Godbeak really crashed and burned there at the end. Alright, Gyro. We had a good run, buddy. Who's ready for Gyro 6? Gyro! Don't forget. We love you, Normal Gyro. Normal Gyro forever. Hopefully this can be son of Normal Gyro. Mm. No. Distance and fickle. No. Let's stop stamina loss. Distance and fickle. Uh, is fickle better than erratic? Fickle. Normal and erratic. This is not that much better. Although the dirt is significantly better with this one. Mm. That one's all evens. Normal gyro's forever my favorite gyro. Godspeed, little dude. Ah, poor normal gyro. Mm. I feel like we need some dirt power. So I think we're going to go with Samantha to, to level up dirt. Alright, here we go. Go normal gyro! Oh! He's still normal! Alright! Lower chance of stopping. Speed rises in the second half. Okay. Now there's a prodigy with promising future. I got the Yakitori. We're not going to think about that too hard. Nor nor son of normal gyro. Ah. Uh, peerless normal! Yes! I will hand over... Uh... R.I.P. Yakatori Gyro. I feel a little bad. Oh, there he goes. Okay. Train him. Train him. Go, Gyro. Go, go, Gyro. You can do it, Gyro. You're the best, oh, Gyro. I will give him Yakitori. <laughs> it's fine. Alright. Would I give him train? If I was willing to give over more expensive stuff, it would go faster. But, like, Shinada has no money. I'm gonna give him that expired lunch set, because I don't want to eat it. Ah, it worked out fine! Nice. Okay, let's do it. Uh, train him. Gyro! Oh, no! Cutscene where he eats the Yakitori Gyro while sobbing gently like Homer and his pet crown. Oh, Forstein, you are gonna enjoy some of the sub stories in Yakuza 7. Uh, this guy. I will give him Yakitori. Okay, that's pretty good. Train him, train him. I'm gonna go with 
this guy. I give him Torianners. Perfect. Okay, I will train him. I will train him. Train Gyro. I'm gonna go with this guy. Because Gyro was having some problems with the dirt. And I just feel like we need to get him better on dirt. Come on, Gyro. Get that dirt up. There you go. Get that dirt up. Get your dirt feet into the dirt. And please don't stop because it is a race. Come on, Gyro. Much like uh, Steel Ball Run, the actual race, there's an amount of just stopping and farting around. I don't know if Chicken Gyro's also looking for the holy corpse parts of Jesus the Christ of Nazareth. But that is what they're doing in Steel Ball Run. <laughs> ah. I mean, it's kind of an accident that, like, Johnny and Gyro find out about it in the first place, to be honest. Um, because, like, Gyro's there because he needs to win the Steel Ball Run to get a pardon for a little boy who's going to be executed in Naples. Um, for reasons, and, um, doesn't want that to happen, because this is a straight-up child, um, <laughs> and, um, Johnny joins the race because he wants to learn the spin, because when he touches, he's like, go, Johnny goes to the start of the steel ball run, in order to, um, well, to see it, I guess, um, because he was a famous jockey before he got into an accident where he got shot, um, for cutting in line <laughs> at a play, um, for some girl, and he didn't even care about the play, which is, like, kind of the worst part, so he's paralyzed. Um, and when he goes to touch Gyro, I guess he gets, like, some kind of wang-dang doodle back backlash from the steel balls. And, um, like, is like, oh, my, he felt like his legs move, and so he wants to learn, uh, about the spin. And so he's following Gyro, and then they become friends. Um, so it's really not about Jesus for a while. Um, really a, a significant chunk. <laughs> it becomes about that later. Um, <laughs> it's really not about that to start with. Okay, how many more do I get? Gyro, how much Torianer do I have? I will give him the last one. Make my chicken better! Bagok, we gotta hold up the sacred name of Gyro and the Zeppeli family. Um, enter. Gyro Zeppeli. I'm gonna enter him. I'm gonna put him. I'm gonna see how he does in the contender class. I'm gonna put him in the tortoise cup. See how he does. Do it! Go, go, Gyro! You got it, buddy! Son of normal Gyro. You can do it, bud! Okay, there's just some dirt. We'll see how he does on the dirt. Weeksel Coddle Gyro, Ivan the Terrible, Mac Attack. Oh no. Gyro, are you just like seriously just no fucks given by Gyro? Come on, Gyro. Son of normal gyro, this is very slow. Um... Oh 
son of normal gyro, that's very bad. <sighs> What's your deal, guy? Yeah! Work's finally done! Tonight, I shall party all night in the park. Woohoo! He's got his wahoodle on, and he's ready to go. Um, let's see. Well, I guess I could tell what's his face about the thingy. Uh, other restaurant. Hey, guy. Yeah. Hey, there you are. Find any great places? I did. I will tell him about Daruma. Take him to Daruma. It's this way. Follow me. Right behind you. Hey. So this is the place you were talking about. Let's give it a try. Okay, I'll take one, please. Mmm, what a great aroma. Oh, wow, this is really good. Wow, that was delicious, and it should really help me come up with ideas for a new dish. Since you've introduced me to so many great places, I'll give you the best advice I have. You know how people say they're full, but still have room for dessert? And that about sums it up. I want you to use all the advice I've given you to make your dining experiences more fun. So I won't be hungry all the time if I enjoy food more? No, it can't be that simple. But, let me think about it some more. You learned King of Gourmet. That's about all the advice I can offer. The rest is up to you. Just try different things. Food is a very personal thing, after all. So there's a limit to how much anyone can teach someone else about it. Anyway, now it's time for me to come up with a new dish based on all the info I gleaned from the eateries I visited. I heard there's a new cafe around here. I'll think of a dish fit for that kind of place. Well, you've been really helpful. Hope to see you again soon. Thanks for all your help. Bye! Now we have to find him and snoop his new dish. We will snoot it out. Where am I now? Uh, well, I'm full, so I can't do anything. You know what I could do? is go turn in them prize tickets and see if I got a prize. Uh, I don't know if this is the right way. We'll just go, we'll just go this way. What? Mm. Oh! Get him! Yes. Well, he's dead. What else do I have? Well, nothing. Get him! And he died! I'm like, where is it? There's a whole park. We haven't even been there yet. Uh. 
Yeah, I saw that guy. Do you wish to join me in fisticuffs? I guess! Get him! I've got eternity, Pipe! You can do nothing! There's still a guy. Oh! Oh! It's a stove! I got him with the stove! And I got a bronze blade. Hey, Shinada. Oh, hi. Who boy. You should got that week before payday air about you. Well, here's a stroke of good fortune for you. Here, take one of these. I got a prize ticket. A prize ticket? Yup. It's a part of the local community things that the Chamber of Commerce is doing. You're supposed to get some for shopping or dining locally, but get this, a bunch got blown away by a gust of wind, now you can find them all over town. We spent quite a bit to round up some decent prizes. Try your luck at the prize wheel. It has to take a turn for the better sometime. A prize wheel, huh? Can't say no to something that comes free. I'll be happy to partake in your generosity. Yeah, you give it a go. And work harder, too, okay? Hi. Hello there. Do you have a prize ticket? If so, would you like to give the prize wheel a spin? I sure would. Excellent. Let's give it a go. Okay. Oh. I can't believe it. Ooh, that's too bad. Here's a consolation prize for your effort. I got pocket tissues! <sighs> it's green again! More pocket tissues. Do it again! Blue! It's blue! This one's blue! Congratulations! You won a third prize! Lighter oil! That's not that good! That's green! That's green also! Do it. Uh, yeah, I guess. Oh, no, it's green again! <sighs> this woman is mocking me. Did you get anything other than pocket tissues and the lighter oil to set them on fire with? What the fuck is this? Second prize! Gra it's a gravity converter! I don't know what that does! Some man is yelling at me? Um, I guess. Thank you. Uh... I'll give those... To the oh, I got a prize ticket. I'm back. Yes, I spin the wheel. 
spin it, spin it. Oh no, that one sucked! Fuck your consolation tissues! What? Do you have a problem? Oh, it's one of these guys. Like, you're pretty good, dude, but... Yeah, not that good. Well, that was great and all, but I have to go. I should talk to that other guy. The photography guy. I know he's around here. Hello, photography man. It's you, is it not? Excuse me, do you have a minute? Hmm? I'm from the Ken uh, Kenicho Tourism Board. Right now, we're running a campaign to raise a uh, Ken Kineicho's profile as a tourist de destination. Kineicho. An advertising campaign? That sounds like a good idea. Yes! I'd like to ask you to take some photos of places around Kenichio uh, that you think are must-see landmarks. The photos of you will take... Uh, photos you will take will be used in pamphlets and posters promoting uh, Kenichio as a tourist destination. If you can shoot five sightseeing spots for me, I'll give you a fabulous gift. Sounds good to me, but I don't have a camera. No problem. We can lend you one. I have a high-end single-lens reflex camera to give you. This guy. Really? You'll lend it to me for free? That's right. Completely free. But I will need to get your contact details just in case. What is going on in the background? Sir, are you having a problem? We'll have to check that out. Uh, sure thing. Let me just see that camera. Great! That man is having a problem. Here it is. Got a borrowed single lens reflex camera. This man pawns this camera immediately. Immediately. You can find me here during the campaign. Come back once you've shot five locations. Good luck out there. I will walk around. And I guess I'll talk to that man who's clearly having a problem. Uh, hello. Are you having a problem? Oh, hey! Uh, what brings you here? Shinada-san? Uh, and you are? I work part-time at the editorial office, but don't you remember me serving you tea at the meetings? Uh, sure, if you say so. Anyway, what's the story here? Why are you scrabbling around on the ground? Well, one of the editors gave me some handwritten memos and told me to get them typed up and formatted. I was running to try and make the deadline, but I tripped and ate concrete, dumped the memos all over the place, and now I can't figure out what order they were in. Ooh, tough break. So what's your plan? All it would require is looking at each page and putting them back in order. Hey, maybe you could help, being that you're a journalist and all. Hey, I put my heart and soul into this. I didn't get hired to be some paper shuffler. But I need that heart and soul on my side. Please, won't you give me a few minutes? You know how they say there ain't no rest for the wicked? It's even worse for the poor. Hence, I am busier than I look. Well, damn, if that's not a fucking full truth <laughs> wanger up against the head. Fine, fine. I know what it is that you want. I'll make it worth your while. Okay, then. 
Okay, so what are these memos of? The first is a compilation of erotic memoirs. One of our journalists did read her regular article stuff. The second's part of a fiction series written by the editor himself. A fiction series? We have that? Oh yeah, that's his ultimate pet project. He has this vision of being a famous author, so he talked to Chief into letting him flex his creative writing. He gets that damn fiction piece done, no matter how tight the schedule is. It's pretty disturbing how much effort he puts into it. Got it. So if you get these in the wrong order, you're never going to hear the end of it. <sighs> exactly. That's why it's such a nightmare. Well, all right. Let's see those memos you fumbled. Okay, here's what I got for the erotic memoir. Oh, God, Jesus, help us. <sighs> Sex man's report. Sex man. No. Is this. <sighs> Sex man's report number one. My heart racing in anticipation of our time together, I parry her sultry approaches. Old hands know how to savor this delicate process. I guess we're back to the wacky surf music. Here we go. Upon sex man's report number two. Upon entering the room, we engage in light banter. She doesn't know I'm a reporter and is eager to please despite the hour. Sex man's report number three. Or shall we simply disrobe? No, at this price, I require a slower and more savory stimulation. Ah, alas, Nirvana awaits. Sex man's reports coming straight to you. Sex man's reports number four. Ah, excellent read. Well, I'm glad you're enjoying it. <laughs> I'm like, oh no. I arrive at the parlor just before closing. In spite of it, she warmly welcomes my arrival. Okay. So you want me to unscramble this memoir. Let's see. Mm, what order makes the most sense? Four, two, one, three, I guess. Uh, four, two, one, three. All right, that's what I'm going to pick. The order is four, two, one, three. There's no doubt about it. Thank you. I knew asking an actual writer was the right decision. <laughs> Pshaw. <coughs> Cleaning your kitchen and laughing out loud. Well, I'm glad you're enjoying it. You know it, dude. Now, under the fiction, this ought to be good. Okay, have at it. Twisted Tryst number one. Oh, Lord, this is worse. It's so salty, Toru. The words tumbled softly from her lips. A dark thought entered her mind. What if her husband were to see this? Kauri hesitated a moment. What she had swallowed had only... Only intensified her craving to gobble down more of Toru's meaty offering. 
Twisted Trist number two. Twisted twi Trist number three. Now tell me, it tastes good, doesn't it? Toru's voice carried a steely edge. It was a command that brooked no dissent. But Twisted Trist number four. But it didn't matter now. Brushing aside her misgivings, she greedily snatched the chicken wings remains from Toru's hands. Okay. So now we have to put this in order. Let's figure it out. <laughs> the music is not helping. Okay. So four is clearly the end because it's the punchline. It's uh, one, two, three, four? Okay, this... sure. The surf music makes no sense. The order's one, three, two, then four. That should be right. Man, am I glad I ran into you. Well, I guess it was the other way around, but still, I'd be screwed if it wasn't for your help. Hey, editing's no easy task. It's definitely beyond the scope of the general public. As a fledgling in the industry, you've got your work cut out for you, so don't shame the name. Of course! I'll do my best, especially for the senpai who saved me. Now, please wait here a moment. I need to get these typed up. Uh, sure. Don't forget that reward you promised. I would never be back in a jiffy. Shinata-san! Hey, you're quick. Nice work, kid. So, how about that reward? Are you kidding? The chief read me the riot act for goofing up the fiction segment. Wait, what? I screwed it up? Here's how it should have gone. Oh no, now I have to read it again? Now tell me, it tastes good, doesn't it? Toru's voice can't... I'm not reading this again. Two, three, two, one, four. Three, two, one, and then four. Oi, oi. You call yourself a journalist? On top of wanting a reward, I should be the one asking for compensation. But I got the erotic memoir right, didn't I? Yes, you did. But since you owe me for the fiction, I don't think I should owe you for the memoir. That's only fair. How? <sighs> what, you're gonna complain? I'm the one who nearly lost his job while you walked away scot-free. Dang. I think I did my profession a disservice there. Well, I got the points. I... I did it! No! Oh! Take a picture. This is a nice spot. Can eat... Uh, can famous Ferris wheel. Okay, that shot looks good. Alright. I wonder if these chicken wings will help Gyro. Hey, 
Will you punch me? I think not. Actually, I might let him punch me a little bit so I can eat a food. Oh. I already can eat a food. So it doesn't matter. And I might as well do what I feel like. Which is this? Get him! Get him! Ah, oh, no, nah, I got to level as well. Everything is... It's all... Wacky on this end. This is the wacky chapter. They're gonna make me say innuendos and whatnot. That's the point of it. Mm -hmm. Where? I'm confused. <gasps> Abilities. Tortoise spirit. Essence of bow coiling. Make my health go up. Okay. I got confused. It's this way. No, I do not wish to do that. Goodbye, I will go in here, I think, and no, that's not a restaurant. Dang! This is a restaurant with the dancing man, that's how you know. Hello, dancing man, I've come here to make sure I ate all the food. I did that. Oh, not quite everything yet, though. Give me delicious meals! Thank you! And now... It's time to race the chicken. Oh, there's a man back there and I never asked him what his deal is. What's your deal, guy? Ah, what timing? Huh? Hmm? I saw you at the Cochin racetrack. As a fellow owner, I've got to commend you on a job well done. Arigato. Oh, thanks. Us chicken meisters got to stick together, right? I'll be a former chicken meister soon enough. I'm leaving town to work in Macau for a year. Uh, Macau? Wow, that's like the gambling capital of the world. I envy you, man. Yeah, but if I leave town for that long, I have to leave my bird behind. So listen, can I give you my coaching? You'd honestly be doing me a favor. You serious? Well, I hate to let my champ go, but there's no way I can bring it to Macau with me. Um, it'll make me feel better knowing my birds with an owner like you. You're the kind of guy who raises his coaching to win. He has a chicken for me! Do me this favor. Can you raise my boy upright with tender, love, and care? Good thing he's not asking for money. I guess it wouldn't hurt. I'll raise it to be a champion. Great! I'm sure you'll bring out his true potential. Either way, he's yours now. Strong looking chicken! He's all yours. Well, I guess I better be heading off to Macau. Can't wait to see him all grown up and happy when I come back. Oh, hey, you have a new coaching in race? I'll take it in then. I'll take care of, of the race registration. What's his name? What is his name? It is not Cluckzilla. Okay. 
Oh, that's not, that's not it at all. No, it's better by itself, I think. not good either. Just keep it classic. Howdy. Here's where you can enter the classic. I need to look at his parameters. I would like to check on Speedwagon. Oh. Hmm. Speedwagon. That's not very good. Let's see if we can train up Dryro. <sighs> this guy. I give him um pocket tissues. That was fine. He'll take pocket tissues. Um let's train Speed wagon with pocket tissues. Um, give me that guy. I should give him pocket tissues. All right. Train up speed wagon gyros not doing super great. I will give him more pocket tissues. Okay. I will train him again. Uh, speed wagon. Let's see how far he can go. Kanamiya. Okay. I will train. Speed wagon again. Uh, give me that man. I will pay him in chicken wings. Delicious. Oh man, he loved it. I'm gonna train speed wagon again with chicken wings. It's a little like. I don't know if it's worse than the Yakitori. Probably not, since I don't know that any of these are made out of, you know, racing chicken birds. Okay. He's getting better, y'all. Train him. Train him in. I go with you, and you will train him to more pocket tissues. Yes, delicious. Really? All right. What happens if I train him with a lighter? Train speed wagon. Train him. Train him. I will give him this lighter. Okay. So 
he's fairly well maxed out. Let's race Speedwagon and see how he does. If he's like a little better at the beginning ones, maybe maybe I should try. Maybe I should put all my hopes on Speedwagon. I don't know. I don't know. Let's do it, Speedwagon. Let's see how you go. I don't know. He might suck more than Gyro. Normal Gyro, son of Normal Gyro. Very disappointing. Karaji Kid, Speedwagon, starting line, Wingman, go! Oh dang, Speedwagon! Look at him living up to that name! Speedwagon! He did it! Oh man, they are really beating up on that one. Karaji Kid. It was sad. Speedwagon! Alright, Speedwagon, let's see how you do. I would like... Oh, I can't... I mean, do I have anything else to give? Uh, I'll give that. That's a guy. I will give you a plate, guy. Okay, so... Speedwagon is now maxed. Let's see how he does. Oh, no! Oh, for fuck's sake. You know what? Let's try it again, gyro number six. Let's see it. Let's, let's see you go again. Let's do it. Gyro, let's go! Go, go, Zeppeli. I don't know. Gyro was really moseying the last time. I was not seeing a lot of get up and go out of him. It's crime time! Gyro at the end! Come on, Gyro. You got this, buddy. No, he doesn't. He does not got this. Gyro! This is an incredibly poor showing. What am I gonna do with him? Gyro? Very poor, Gyro! I don't know about these, I don't know about these gyros, y'all. Alright, Speedwagon. Let's see if he can do a better job. We need to stay with the newcomer. Try him on a novice cup. See how he does. Let's do it! Off you go, then. Novice Cup! Speedwagon! The Scrambler! Big Papa! Crispy! Posture check! Hello, little Sam! Come on, Speedwagon! Oh, man. This chicken racing is just... Why is it so difficult? Sinful's no good.
Alright. If Gyro doesn't shape up, he's going to end up as a KFC bucket. I mean, the latest Speedwagon not doing so great either. It's so cold. Today's the sort of day when hot meat buns really hit the spot. Cool. I can't stop coughing. Was it because I didn't wash my hands or gargle when I got home yesterday? I don't, I don't know. Hot meat buns. Everything's like that in this chapter. Well, there he goes. That was rude. It's not even innuendo, it's just dough. It's like not subtext, it's just text. It's just like, it's just like straight up horniness. And that's what you get. Eh. Wait, where am I going? Oh! This is a nice spot. Dust illusion! A few of the e- a view of the e billboard and can't- can it eat you. Alright, that looks good. Like, if I find them, I'll do them. What? Do you have a problem? This, yeah, I... Mm, oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Here we go! Wait. Is that Tatsuya? Welcome to Tatsuya's 3-Minute Kitchen Hack. Today, we're coming to you from Kinichio, Nagoya. This show is all about having a celebrity chef, Tatsuya, help new and struggling eateries across Japan by coming, by coming up with new dishes. In this episode, we'll be speaking with the manager of Cafe Alps, Kinichio, about his new location's difficulties in attracting customers. Please, tell us more about your situation. Yes, well, Cafe Alps is a venerable coffee shop that got its start in Kamurocho, Tokyo, but a new CEO was recently appointed. He's pretty ambitious and wants to expand across Japan. He started with us, Kamino, and now there's this Kinichio location, too. Unfortunately, business hasn't been very good, but if we had a local dish that the people of Kinichio liked, maybe uh, we could win over more customers. I see. So you want to attract more customers at your Kinichio shop by offering a local dish. Well, Tatsuya-san, let's hear what you came up with. Hi. Okay, wait for it. I'm calling my new dish Bolognese uh, Ankaki Spaghetti with Hacho Miso. Uh, with Hacho Mitsu Miso. You've done it again, Tatsuya-san. Could you tell us a little more about your new creation? Sure. Nagoya is known for its miso and Anaka... Uh, on kake spaghetti, so I thought, why not combine the two for a bit of fusion magic? I use ground chicken and hachomizo to create a bolognese style on kake sauce. I also added burdock to subtly ramp up the flavor factor. Then there's the flavorful heat of the aged broad bean chili paste I add, along with domestic beef fat to make it even richer. That sounds amazing! The people of Nagoya are gonna eat that up! Literally! How did you ever come up with such a masterpiece? Well, I might never have if it weren't for eateries a certain someone introduced me to. And there you have it! Another hit dish, courtesy of Tatsuya-san! Bolognese on kake spaghetti with hachso miso is now available anytime right here. We hope our viewers will come, uh, will come give it a try. Until next time, 
Bon Appetit. They have Tatsuya's new dish over at Cafe Alps uh, Kinichio. Maybe I'll go check it out when I have some money. It's here, and now I can eat it. Oh! Can I finally, at long last, finish the Cafe Alps? Will it be today? Is it? Is it my time? Yes, I am! Oh my god! I think that's it! Hook a dude up with some free food, chef, indeed! No prize tickets. Fine! I didn't even want one. I don't know why you would think that I did. Oh my god, completion list, completion list, food and drink. No, Cafe Alps, why? Oh my god, are we gonna have to reveal a third Cafe Alps dish in Camarocho? Will that be the end of our long voyage? I could go to the bar and um give the weird coach guy my uh I don't know, I found that fish for him like he wanted. Cat news meow 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 cat news. Yes, um, the cat news is, is that, um, well, Reggie is a little unhappy with us right this moment because, um, when we have to let people look at the house, we have to put him in a crate and because we don't know if he's trustworthy enough to not try to boop his snoot out the door, so we just grade him. Um, and he's like, oh, we'll die. Um, so that's fun. So he's just, he's just rammed out from, we had to do it this weekend, we're about to have to do it again, so he's just, just ramming away. He's had a little bit of a rammy day. Um, Yep, he's just he's just ramming out today. Um Ooh, that is a nice spot. Foxy is uh still not tactical. Still tries to go under things where he can still poke her with his paw and then just is like Will no one save me? And then we, we come to save her. She, she goes, Rah! And, like, screams. Um, so, <laughs> that's still happening. Um, Tifa was getting sneaky pets today. Only good if it's sneaky. If you turn your chair all the way around and are like, I will put you on my lap and pet you. All pets. No, not good. Only sneaky pets. Only I'm going to like wiener around your legs and like beg for pets. And then when you try to pet me, I will decline. That's Tifa. So, uh, yep, that's the cat news. Meow, 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 cat news. Um, calm before the storm for these guys. All right. That was pretty good. <sighs> well. Wait a minute. I guess I should go back over across the street. But I also have... 
All right, I'll go to the bar first. Hey, it's a prize tickets. I want a prize. It might just be tissues though. Who is to say? Getcha! Yeah, got him. Okay. Wait a minute. I saw a shiny thing. Did I get hit at all? Maybe a little. Yeah, this is the bar. Let me in the bar! First shot! Waves. Waves to you as well. Uh, I would care for something to drink. Give me the Hibiki 17 years, please. This is a premium Japanese whiskey that has won over whiskey lovers around the world. This whiskey starts with a single malt aged in Japanese Mizunara oak and then blended with over 30 different painstakingly selected single malts. The mellow flavor produced by this process has earned it a gold prize in international competition. The finish is particularly good. This bottle is, uh, is popularly given in gift exchanges. Not that I've ever been gifted one. Here for another round, sir. What does one give a bartender? I mean, we tipped ours out. So, that. <laughs> uh, I don't know. This limited edition uh, Yamazaki was created in 1999 to commemorate Suntory's 100 year anniversary. A long aging process in cherry wood barrels produces a perfect balance. I'm certain anyone fortunate enough to enjoy this rare whiskey will experience pure bliss. Its price puts it just within reach as far as dream whiskeys go. I enjoy drinking it on special occasions. Oh, I've had enough, have I? I see you've gone around and fished something up. Well, does it feel like anything's changed? I think I can see with a bit more clarity than before. Is that what you're getting at? You betcha. Go up to bat right now. You should notice a curious new ability is awakened within. One like you've never felt before. Oh, wow! Yeah, let's go see it right now. To the batting center we go! Now, try what you've learned. If you've really gained the insight I intended, the ball should appear like it's moving in slow motion. I have learned heat eye. Uh, one moment, please. Okay, that's fine. Heat eye. Oh, 
Okay. That's too many things. Don't make me read that much. Okay. Really? Why are you making me push different buttons? What is this? Boo. That was also a foul? What the fucking... Do I have to take it off before it hits the plate? What the fuck? I have to do this. I'm stuck in this mode. Ah, oh boy. Really? Why? Why does it keep fouling? Really? Well, at least it didn't make me do it eternally. It's amazing, coach. The ball really did look like it was moving in slow motion. Ha ha ha, good. Didn't that turn out the way I said it would? Heat eye. It sure did. Would you mind training me some more? Sure. I can do that. You can always find me at the bar. So if you want to get in some training, that's where I'll be. Really appreciate it. Thanks. Well, I mean, did they? I feel like they just gave a lot of mini games to this guy they'd otherwise have given to Majima or Kiryu. I mean, at this point in the series, Majima had not really been a playable character except in Dead Souls. So, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Show me the tickets. Whoa. Give me tickets. What's up? I gotta go in there and do a thing. I don't know if I want to do a thing in there. I was doing pretty badly. You're never on time. Have you ever come when you said you would? I'm sorry. I was so excited about seeing you. I couldn't fall asleep and then I overslept. Yeah. That kind of thing can happen. What's back here? Nothing. I'm not letting you go home tonight. I'm not letting you sleep either. Ooh, yes please. Okay. That's y'all's business. That don't got nothing to do with me. Uh, 
I'm trying to, like, I don't want to boop into anything that might be extended, um, and I'm actually going to save the game, because I need to stop definitely on time today, or even maybe a little early, because of, there's someone coming to look at my house. Yeah, I was like, no, there's a, there's a thing. Yeah. Okay. Witness me, I'm doing it! Heat Eye is like, um... They did it again, I think, in... Yakuza 0, which came, like, right after this game. In the, uh, car chase, there's, like, a Heat Eye where you can, like, slow down so you can... shoot better, and that barely works, also. <sighs> Thank you for the witness! Like, I think that's one of those things that, like, uh, it didn't really work. They tried it a couple of times, and then we're like, hey, man, whatever. I was like, well, I guess I could try to see... If I got any, well, hmm, hmm. I'm like, what am I doing? Let me go to the M store and buy some Torianers. We'll see if we can like zoop up, like a uh, soup up, like a uh, speed wagon. Maybe he'll be a little bit better. As I'm, I'm a little, I have a little bit That's of a little squinty thick. eye on some of those, uh, missions that they have going on there. Cause I'm like, I don't know. I don't know y'all. You, you do love to trap me inside of things for 20 minutes and like that cannot be today. The M store is a portal. Whoa. Thank you for being here, everyone who's here. Y'all are great. Mm. All right, let's try again, you and me, speed wagon. He was born evil. Just look at him, I know evil when I see it. He smells of nothing but. Like a sample speed wagon dialogue. Why, he was born bad! You can tell because he's got three moles on his ears, and also he tried to poison your father! Alright. We're gonna breed. We're gonna breed speed wagon. Poor breeding leads to poor results. Uh, he's not gonna let me do it. Alright. I will enter... Newcomer class. Let's try the chicken cup. With speed wagon. This man is like, you can't breed your way out of sucking. I'm like, are you sure? Because I'm pretty sure that's what I did the last time. You do need to know your chicken. It's true for the chicken cup. Speed wagon. Run like the wind. Teriyaki. Flight of fancy. All right, speed wagon, go. No, come on, don't stop. Yeah! Now he's running! Ah! Speed wagon! Th 
Oh man. Run like the wind sniped me at the end. That was rude. All right, let's just race them and see how they do. Gyro, do you, would you like to try again? Mm, what happens if I drop him down? Hey, Reg, you got your duck? He's carrying around his duck in his mouth. He likes to sh like really jam it in. Like he takes his paw and like pushes it into his mouth and then he bites down on it as hard as he can. So it must be really satisfying. Chicken stew! Lone Star! Old Grassy! Chiro Zeppeli! He especially likes to drag the duck around while hollering at it. Big fan of that. Sometimes you're just like, bro, I thought something was wrong with you. But no, you're just yelling at the duck. Oh man! Gyro! He did it! He's just dragging the duck around. He's taking it upstairs. He brought it back downstairs. Now he's shoving it in his mouth. Squeaking it. So it goes poof. Gyro did it! Alright. Maybe he just needs to race at this one and get his confidence up. Come on, Gyro. Alright, I'll try it again. Challenger class. Silver cup. Let's do it, Gyro. You got this. Let's do this. It's very long. Come on, Gyro! Gyro! Oatmeal! Chicken stew! And trigger! Come on, Gyro, he's motoring. Oh, look at him go, look at him go! He just needed to feel confident. Look at him go, look at him go! Oh man! Gyro! He did it! He did it, Reg! Peerless Gyro! Hi, Reg. Now let's don't do that. Come on now. Come on now, buddy. We're gonna reach Gyro again. Reggie, are you ready? He's doing so well. I'm gonna enter the challenger class. I'm gonna race him through the challenger class and see if he does better. Cause his confidence. Go go Zeppeli! Foot. Pigeon Chiro Nugget Four Nugget Oh, my God, Chiro is really just killing it.
Oh my god, Gyro is stopping these other chickens! Are we going to be near a city again? Um... Depends on your definition of city. We won't be in like a rural area, I guess. I mean, I don't know. It depends on where we kind of end up towards the end of it. Jaro just needed another chance. Reginald, Reginald, Reginald. What are, what, I'm sorry. One moment. Oh yeah, the other thing that we did that made Reggie unhappy with us is um, <laughs> we're doing a big you know, trying to clean out the freezer and stuff. And, um, I had a bunch of chicken legs, and we made, like, shredded chicken for, like, tacos and stuff. And Reginald has a thing about chicken in that he is a big fan. And he watched us, like, debone and shred chicken, like, like, what? No, no! And he's been a little bit um, mad at us for cooking the chicken, throwing away part of the chicken, aka the bones and the skin, and hiding the chicken and then bringing the chicken back out and then not giving him any chicken. That's the other reason why he is mad. Enter races. Luce has been chicken obsessed since the chicken incident. Chicken incident? What chicken incident? Tell me about it again. Let's let's race Gyro again. Tough, tough course. I will do it. Good luck. We we stole the chicken and then we hid the chicken. Oh, grassy, speed demon, beast, gyro. Oh! Oh my god, Gyro! Oh, he's doing so good, y'all! I was cleaning out the freezer and put some frozen chicken thighs on the stove temporarily, and they fell behind it. And a few days later, Luce ripped the package open and couldn't believe her luck and that's how we found the chicken. Oh my god! Oh no, that is a chicken incident. For a while she kept trying to tip the garbage can over. Josh put all of the chicken bits in the outside garbage, which I think was very smart of him to think of and do. Because Reggie is a little bit of a chicken goblin. Like, when he's going full goblin mode and trying to get up into your, like, face and steal your food out of your mouth, which is essentially what he wants to do, um, it's usually because of chicken. He is so into chicken.
All right, let's try Gyro. Let's bump him up class and see how he does. Come on, Gyro. Let's do it. Oh my god, Luce stole pepperoni off of uh, Nelson's pizza twice. Oh my god. Sparkles! Satin! Super spicy! Nemesis! Gyro! S Sparkles was real bad for stealing. Oh no, Gyro, why? This is not his round. How come he's so bad here? He was so good before. Is he intimidated? Don't be intimidated. Come on, Gyro. This is not great. We're gonna have to do something about this. <sighs> oh, and the other day she took two bites of the plastic through my lo for my loaf of rye. I Hodge was so bad about eating bread, we had to locate all bread inside the fridge. Because if we didn't, he would just tear giant honkers out of it. Alright, Gyro. Let's see if we can do better. Anybody not rogue or erratic, okay? That one... These are not better. <sighs> Alright. Let's try it. I've never had a bread cat before. It's so weird. Yeah, I... You have to be like... They're so weird because, like, you get used to their little weirdnesses and, like, putting stuff away and stuff because, like, you know, you couldn't leave any kind of... Sa like plastic sandals like flip flops or, or crocs or anything like that on the floor because like Hodge would chew on them uh, there's nothing he loved more than poking teeth holes in a pair of adidas slides and so like you know you get used to pulling everything up off the ground Hand it over. All right. Esther used to lick crumbs off of plates all the time, so if you want to use a plate again, you have to be quick. Yeah, Foxy, like, will go after sweets, right? Like, Foxy's big thing is trying to get her snoot into anything sweet. Um, like melty water ice, you know, popsicle wrapper, uh, lid of ice cream, like, that's what Foxy wants. Um, Reg is just chicken. He is a chickeny boy. It is the only thing he seems to care about is chickens. Let's go with that guy. I will give him a stamina in X. Bagok! He's perfect! 
He's perfect, y'all. Tifa used to do that. Now Tifa is more like she likes to really lick plastic. Like, um, she, she especially it's it's a little ghouly when she's doing it with her little weird teeth on a on like a with a laundry basket, and all you can see is like teeth and tongue, and you hear like gang 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 gang. It's just like ah, oh, Tifa, it's. It's a little, it's like kind of a lot. Gyro 7 coming to a theater near you. And definitely making the yang 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 noises. Cause like, you, it's not, it's not fake eating a plastic bag, basket unless you're making the om nom nom noises. Because if you didn't do that, it might not be super duper we weird and funny. I will train Gyro. Gyro, you got it. They love that. Forgot! Okay, so it look like it should just keep getting better. Yeah, give me gyro. I will give him a Torianer. He's erratic, but hopefully it's not too bad. This gyro is perfect. He is a perfect gyro. Gyro eight clean plate. <laughs> gyro gets a penalty at the beginning of the steel ball race. And he doesn't finish it, which is sad. Dirt lover, that looks good. Hopefully I can get ADHD meds in a couple of weeks so I can be less bad at executive functioning. I hope I hope that uh, you can and I hope that it helps you with that for sure. Um like it's definitely I find it helpful for me. Um, I, I will say for ADHD meds that in my experience, they are not, they were not the cure all that I was help, ho hoping for, uh, in some ways, like it's definitely a significant good boost and has made a significant difference to the point where I can tell, you know, if it's been a few days. Um, but the memory problems remain. Um, mm, I don't like volatile. Can we forget a skill? I do have one that I want to forget a skill. That sucks. I don't want him to be volatile. Oh, yeah? I don't want his stamina to go randomly up and down. Uh, 
Oh, well, uh, good luck. I hope, I hope that for you as well. Um, kind of me. Last one. All right, let's try him. Gyro 7, this is perfect gyro. Let's see how perfect he is. Shall I bump him down to Challenger? See how he does on the Crystal Cup. Let's go, 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 Gyro! Good luck! Bon voyage! Chick out of hell, Monte Cristo! Gy oh, gyro hiccups. Oh man, does this gyro suck also? Gyro! Oh, he's got he's applying some speed. Oh! What the heck? Yeah, waiting on stuff like that is hard. I mean, we're kind of in a major waiting time right now, too. It's just, it's, it's hard. Into the race. I will enter it. Go, go, gyro. Gyro! Monte Cristo! Chick out of hell! Oatmeal! Sometimes all we can do is just wait, because there's nothing we can do. Unfortunately. Oh, he's picking up! He's picking up! Come on, Gyro. You got it, buddy. You got it. Oh, he's really stepping on the gas! Gyro, you got this, bud! Look at him go! Look at him go! Gyro! Oatmeal is a good name. Oatmeal just wants to be a regular chicken. Yeah. Oh no, poor oatmeal. I'm on the shakedown grind officially. Ah, I know it's well. All right, let's just do a couple more races and then I'll probably call it at that point because we do need to get stuff ready so that we can move out of the house. Oh, um, Mr. Shakedown, I think, from Yakuza Zero. Into races. Gyro! I will... Is Gyro a contender? Let's see. Let's do it, Gyro. It's very chickeny. Reg would love this. 
he's like, yes, indeed, I call you dinner. Saturn, Nemesis, Gyro, Reginald Dinner, Jeremy. Gyro again. Contender Phoenix Cup. I will enter. Off you go then. It's short, but a lot of dirt. Kung Pao! Gyro! Ivan the Terrible! Quetzalcoatl! Gyro, very slow. Come on, Gyro, you got this. Put a little speed burst in there, buddy. Get it going, Gyro, get it! Oh, come on. Oh! Come on, Gyro! <sighs> yeah, no, buddy. That wasn't very good. It, it was, in fact, bad. It was bad, actually. What? I will fight you, host. Alright, I'm gonna eat this nomdy noms. Gal pasta, hello! Oh no, sweetie, I'm gonna have to end a little bit early. Arigatana. Hydration check. Okay, I got it. My bill. It's okay. Thank you. I appreciate it. Um, yeah, we got, uh, you know, if somebody wants to look at the house, we gotta let them look at the house. So, I gotta dip out of here a little bit early. Just make sure everything's like it's supposed to be. And we're all good to go. That is... Excuse me! Alright, so I'm gonna save the game. Witness me! I'm doing it now.
All right. Thank you all so much for coming to hang out with me. I had a really good time. I hope you had a good time. I hope um, it was fun for y'all. Uh, it was pretty chickeny, but I definitely want to keep it all contained um, just to make sure I get out of here on time because um, sometimes I'm bad about that. Um, thank you to everybody who was in the chat. Everybody who chats y'all make it so much fun for me i just appreciate it so much and it's like awesome and you guys are awesome um thank you to everybody who comes by and doesn't chat everybody who comes by checks out the stream even for a little bit of time if you don't want to chat that's totally chill everybody helps to make it a good experience and great for everybody and i appreciate that thank you to everybody who watches the stream later um i see the numbers i appreciate y'all thank you so much stream is going dark um august 26th no stream into september we are moving when the stream comes back in september the um the schedule will be the same, but we will be on Central Time. I am currently on Eastern Time. We are moving to Central Time to keep it normal for me. <laughs> and, um, yeah, I... Uh, anything else? Could be canceled streams in between now and then. People have to come look at the house. We have to let them look at the house. Um... Thank you for the binocular hands and the observation. I appreciate it. Um, my name is Allie. I'm from Okay to Be Fat because it is okay to be fat. And this has been Yakuza 5. Um, we should be back on Wednesday. If I'm not here when you're expecting me to be here, check my Twitter. I will definitely post an update if there is a cancellation. And that's it for me. I gotta go. Bye!